wrestling to go. There are a growing number of people who are going to what you may consider and what I may consider what extremes, consider. <laughs> yes, to not only get a discount, but to get most of their stuff for free. But there is a trade-off, a trade-off that only you can decide if it's really worth it. Chris Kemp is not homeless. We're here at a dumpster behind a local produce stand. He's here to find the best deals around. So if you want to eat for free, this is all you got to do. Chris is dumpster diving, not out of necessity, but because he wants to. He's part of a growing number of people who go through the trash to save money and to be the ultimate recyclers. I mean, it's like, why buy food if there's so much food that's being thrown out? The politically correct name is Freegan. You might call them cheapskates, but Chris calls it something else. I call it the third hand store or Meals on Wheels. In this first dumpster, we're off to a good start. Bananas and a lot of them. This is just one box of bananas. You might not eat these, but for Chris, it's a big score. Ingredients for smoothies and banana bread. The way I see it, this is just like shopping, except it's got a lid instead of a door and it's totally free. You don't have to stand in line. And you get lots of fruit when it's in its best state, which is totally ripe. With people staring in disbelief, Chris pulls out edible, half a cantaloupe, even pineapple tops to plant in his garden. Whatever I have that's extra, I just compost. And that causes, I have a nice flourishing garden. With the dumpster picked clean, Chris loads up his car, which only has a driver's seat for extra space. He scores four boxes of bananas and another box of veggies and fruits. Every dumpster is an opportunity. It's just a matter of seizing it. And this next dumpster behind a drugstore. Woohoo! Chris strikes garbage gold. Look, a thing of peanuts. Totally good. Okay, it's open. It doesn't matter. Totally good almonds here. Chris is like a kid at a candy store when he finds seven unopened boxes of chocolates. It's a little warm. It might be melted. Oh, you're being negative. <laughs> no negativity in the chocolate dumpster, okay, Eric? Chris also finds Pop-Tarts, razor blades, a box of tampons, a heating pad, a tape cassette player, skin cream, dental guard, chocolate bars, and hair care products. He packs them up, and what he can't use, he'll pass out to friends. But not every dumpster is good. You are going to get a little bit dirty. Chris says he leaves behind anything that doesn't smell good, but he will dig through even maggots to get to good food. So has he ever gotten sick? The only time I've gotten sick is when I ate too, many, too much chocolate. I found a bunch of chocolate in a certain dumpster, and I ate so much chocolate that I started to get headaches, which is my own fault, so I overdid it. On to the next dumpster, and it appears Chris has worked up an appetite eating a banana from our first stop. He checks out a dumpster behind a bakery. Inside, he finds a loaf of sourdough bread. This may look crazy to you. For Chris, it's a lifestyle, one that even the women he meets needs to accept. It's a nice date. If you want to take your partner on a free date, you just go dumpster diving. If you're wondering, yes, Chris is single, but nonetheless passionate about trash. I just think you have to change your perception about certain things and eat it and taste it, and you'll see that it's not garbage. So if you're not afraid of the stains, the stench, or even the stigma, these dumpsters could contain the best deals around. That is, as long as Chris hasn't beaten you to the punch. Now, Chris is so passionate about dumpster diving that he has written poetry about it, even a musical. And currently, he's looking for the right people to play the leading roles in that musical. Chris says there is a growing underground community in our area who dumpster dives. One of his friends, he says, is an engineer who makes six figures. But still, dumpster dives for the thrill of, or just the search of it. You might want to read more about this one. Just uh, go to our website, WFLX.com, and type in dumpster diving into our speed word. Well, I will tell you that Roby brought back mm. those chocolates that yes. he got out of the one thing. <laughs> see if anyone would you pass them around they the They were all <laughs> melted, but everyone in the newsroom ate them. Oh, I didn't no. eat them, and I'll no. eat anything. <laughs> but I, I stayed away they from them. They did those. have a distinct smell to them. Yes, the packaging. Yeah, but Ooh. I'm telling you, people here just ate them up. <laughs> wow. A little melted, but no one got sick. Where did you find this guy, Eric? Uh, you know, he has his own website, and he's out there, and he's promoting it as a viable way of actually t to find food. He's, wow. I love it. He's into it as part of just recycling <laughs> and uh, showing cool. people that we just throw away I way recycle. Too much. I don't go that far, but, you know, I respect that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the heck? You know, we, uh, we did have to watch out, though. Some of the things that get in the trash have yeah. been recalled. So yeah. that's one major problem. Well, interesting story. John doesn't thank, know what to thank say. Thank you for sharing all that. <laughs> hey, guys, let's switch gears a little bit.